Hi, my name is Anthony Corpus. Usually people call me Tony. I have a Facebook page, Corpus Photography, and also on Instagram, Corpus Photography. Um, the one Facebook is usually cosplay photos. The one on Instagram has my mo modern photos. The camera body I use is a Canon 5D Mach 3 and a Canon T4i. The lenses I use are 24 to 12 to 24, 24 to 105, a 40, a 50, and 85. I do have a Manfrotto tripod that I really lo enjoy using. Uh, the flashes I use is a AD360 as well as a three Canon flashes. I do use a Pelican case to travel with. Uh, I love the Pelican case. It's sturdy, it's rugged, and it's lockable. My favorite lenses are the 50 and 85. The reason why those two lenses is because I love the depth of field that they both produce as well as the aperture that it can go down to. The 50 is a 1.4 and the 85 is a 1.8. When I go on travels, I usually think first, what do I need to bring? If it's video, if I'm doing video, I take my video stuff. If it's a shoot, I usually take most of all my equipment but unless it's limited, like, if I know it's gonna be a limited space or a lot of people, then I kind of tune it down to uh, what I need. If it's just going out, I'm not doing any shoots, I just take a, my bag with a T4i in it and have that with me, just in case. To be honest, I love all my gears and gadgets. It's just that I don't use it often enough for example, I have a underwater bag for my camera. I've used that thing probably three times. I would love to use it a lot more, but always summertime, trying to find a location for a pool, trying to get permission to use the pool, trying to find models, trying to find a theme for the underwater shoot. It goes, it goes into a lot of planning. Hopefully this summer I'll be able to do some underwater shoots again. When I'm shooting in the field, I usually love shooting wide open aperture because I love the depth of field that it can create. Unless I'm shooting a group of people, then I close down the aperture to try and get everybody in focus. Shutter speed, ISO, those are usually depending on the light situations. Color, uh, white balance, is usually on auto unless I'm in a situation where the tones are really too warm or really too cold then I go uh, to manual auto white or manual white balance. I usually shoot autofocus unless I'm doing something creative and then I'll shoot manual. Like I want to blur the subject slightly off versus blurring it in uh, post-processing. I shoot raw because raw uh, gets a lot more data from what you're shooting and you have that r range, a lot more range to play with versus JPEG. I do, uh, since the 5D Mach 3 has dual capability, I do shoot one in raw and one in JPEG as a backup. For my post-processing, I love using Photoshop because it does a lot of basics that I like as well as some unique tools that it has. I also use Lightroom for bulk photos if I need to because as, a, as you know Lightroom kind of um, um, edits everything at the same time. So. Filters, I do not use any filters on the camera. In photography, there's a lot of techniques out there. YouTube is one of the greatest sources of just seeing what people are experimenting with and seeing how you can try it. Uh, also, fellow photographers, Sacramento Photography, um, 
a lot of photographers out there, when you see them, you can ask them, ask it with their settings, how they're doing their edits. You know, a lot of them may not reveal all their secrets, but they'll definitely help you kind of hint of what their style is. So out of my photographer, I have a lot of favorites, to be honest, and it was so difficult to choose which and which one's pictures to show, but I chose a few to showcase what I love doing. The first two pictures are of Claudia and Valerie. Um, I took them to Preston Castle Photo Day, and we went and shot up there for a couple hours, actually. The dresses were from uh, Chris Pinkley, uh, from Circle of Models. And it was a fun shoot. Uh, I took my Canon with an 85 and uh, one flash, I believe. The second one are of cosplay photography that I do. One of the, the first one is of Jade. She cosplayed Cedar from Ruby. It's an anime show. And I added some unique editing effects on it with the fire and a little bit of glow to her. The second one was from Michaela. She cosplayed Arkari from League of Legends. I didn't do too much photo editing as far as effects for that one, but Still, cosplay photography is one of the theme photographies that I love shooting. There are so many photographers out there that I follow. It's hard to choose which one, but there is a few that always stands out in my mind. One of them is, a few of them are Arthur St. John. He is a photographer down in LA. He, uh, he does amazing edits, really amazing edits. Um, like kind of magazine edits. <laughs> uh, another one is Eko Alexandrov Photography. He is uh, in Japan. Um, I see some of his videos and his photography. It's really, really good. Some of the local ones are Kelly Dunn Photography, inspired by Analog and Turnell's Photography. These guys have unique talents and editing skills that I try and strive for and get ideas from them. Again, a lot of photographers have different unique styles. I think if you happen to look them up, I think you'll appreciate their style. Oh, one thing I wish I knew is probably from the digital standpoint is I think I jumped my crop center sir, to a full frame ahead of the curve without fully exploring the crop sensor capabilities. Not a bad thing. It's just kind of like having the having a full frame now, it's so much nice, but there are times where I'm like, I made I might have made the jump a little too fast. But either way, I do enjoy photography and I will continue to use both cameras. For someone who's starting out to do photography, whether a hobby or professional, do your research, get a camera, whether it's a point of shoot, SLR, or even a phone camera. Work on the basics, get your composition, get the lighting, get the posing down. There you go.